Scott, at the end of the day, yes, I have always wanted the peace. I wanted the resolution. And that's what I want at the end of the day. I want the resolution. I do. But it seems like 200 years of marching has gotten nowhere. And my feet tired. My feet are tired. My soul is weary. It really is. Mm -hmm. I can't take anymore. Mm. Don't start the factory. Mm. I can't take anymore. Don't start it. Mm. Don't start that. Don't Mm. start that. My heart, it aches. It breaks. I've laid too many of my brothers to rest. And they don't understand. you guys it is the ellen d show on a thursday i am yours truly lala i'm Devante. how y'all doing hey Devante. <laughs> i'm your girl t what's going on y'all hey t and i'm your girl tina robinson happy thursday hey <laughs> tina happy thursday and guys on a count of three what do we say one, two, three. Happy, Happy Friday. <laughs> well, guys, we hope that you are having a good week so far. And thank you guys for tuning in to the show. We just ask right now that you just go ahead and like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, if you will. And just to let you guys know that on Tuesdays, that's more of our lighter shows, our fun shows. But on Thursdays is the days that we just all get together and we all just sit back and have a conversation. So if you guys don't want those deep conversations and everything, maybe Thursday shows aren't for you. But Tuesday shows may be for you. So we have something for everyone. So guys... Just letting you guys know who may have triggers and stuff like that. So, just letting you know. So, yes. But, um, how has y'all's week been so far? This far, no complaint. Okay. 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 No sleep. No sleep. No sleep. No sleep. A hundred hours. Oh, a hundred hours. Okay. A hundred hours. Okay. No sleep. All right. Oh, that, sounds, that sounds strenuous. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> and trucking. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm here for you. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm over here looking like the Mariah Carey darling. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Mariah. <laughs> This is because I have not had any sex. Whatever. So, you know, you have to you have to look your best, honey. So when I'm done with the show, he can go ahead and you know get on that. Okay. So, so yeah, what we is... got on for the day? <laughs> oh, I got on no, my phone. Got under this. Uh uh-uh. uh. What? No. Not not today. Uh-uh. <laughs> not, not today. Not today, save, it for not the, today. save it for the Tuesday show. Save it for Tuesday. Yep. Okay, cool. Because you Tuesday know show. I am a practicing nun. Uh-uh. So, 
I'm, I've been doing so good. you practice on Thursdays? I practice every single day. Nah. Wait, do you practice <laughs> fibbing or? Yeah, what, what is the practice? What are you practicing? Well, I masturbated this morning. It was mighty great. <laughs> she did. Did she? Did she not just tell us that if you have an orgasm and everything, you supposed to you know manifest stuff? I'm trying to manifest things. I'm okay, manifesting I'm give for you this that. show to be great. Okay, if I'm manifesting for this show to take off. I manifest. I manifest for us to get those views. I meant it for us to be those YouTubers that everybody want to come to on a Tuesday and Thursday. I want to I wanna manifest a network picking us up. Awesome. Mm. Well, I approve that, that message. That, that, might be, that, that might be another reason why I'm sleepy. You know, I do climax. You know, you, you, you get a little drained and sleepy. Oh, well, I bet you. I bet you have been getting drained. <laughs> That's why your ass is sleepy. Hey, y'all, I got Devontae in on it. Listen. <sighs> it's time. All right. Welcome to the LD show, guys. Mm-mm. This sad, I'm mad, son, I'm mad. sad. <laughs> Can't get my eyes open to save my life. That's oh. you. You're nasty. You need prayer. You need Jesus. Always, always. Jesus is always on. Hallelujah. I just hope he's not watching while I'm doing those types of things. Hallelujah. My Bible just came. Hey, <laughs> okay, Amazon, Amazon. 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 All right. Hey, okay, Bible. Hey, <laughs> Amazon. That's what's <laughs> up. Hey, all right, y'all. So let's go ahead and jump into this show. What are our topics for today? What is the first topic for today? Well, we got a couple of questions from an anonymous person. Oh. Um. So I guess we'll start off with the first question. Um. What do you feel is currently missing from your life? Mm. Mm. Money. <laughs> yeah, I have to go with the money too. Money. An abundance of money. That's about it. About an yeah. ab- abundance. An abundance. An abundance. Right. An abundance. An, a, an abundance. Because it's like every time I get it, it's always gone. <laughs> yeah, the bill, the bill no collectors call. Next thing I know, I go to church. And that's a that's a that's a special offering. <laughs> oh. only, you know, they only have a special offering when I got more money. <laughs> <laughs> See, that be the spirit. The spirit. It is. It must be. It must be. <laughs> the spirit be like, ah, oh, you got this little extra. Oh, go give it. Go on, give it. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> Don't you give it, it, go ahead and shake that hair, honey. Shake that hair. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's more than 10%, Jesus. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. That was 45. Oh, goodness. You want to know what, y'all? I, never mind. Don't you say that to nasty. What? You got was enough protein. Not while nasty. I got this word out. I was not going to say anything nasty. But you got enough protein in your life. Leave it alone. See, Devontae, why you had to say that? Why you got to say that? Because <laughs> I was not going to say anything nasty. See, I was just about to say that I work every single Sunday, so I haven't had the opportunity to go to church. But, but yeah, what I think I'm going to do is That is not start... what you was going to say. No, no, no for real. Say. No, for real. But I think what I'm going to start doing is probably listening to, you know, I was online say they got, services. They, they got church online. But yeah. see, church uh-huh. online, though, I've I've tried it. It's same. just not the same. It ain't. It's I can just agree. Not the same. Going to it is a lot better. You know yeah, what? It is. Funny. It's something so, about being in the house of the Lord. <laughs> you know, <laughs> listening to the preacher and, you know, getting up there and going down to the pool pit and, you know, dropping your dollar me. in that collection. Even it the you know house. what? See, we was having a moment. We was having a moment. You ruined it. <laughs> we was having a moment. I heard you. I heard you. I, I just asked, are you getting on your knees? See, I saw, just, ooh. Oh, so I didn't even hear it. Look, he got them good. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. what happened? 
what I <laughs> right, I was over here like, what I, what I do? Right, I'm like, trying. I'm like, I'm like, what happened? Yeah. Yo, that. I'll be trying to do good, though, y'all. I really yeah. That's the devil. That's the devil. <laughs> What's so, we all agree that more money. All. More money. More money. More money is more definitely money. Fine. More money. Absolutely. I mean, other than that, maybe I'll significant other because I'm a little, you know, I get a little lonely every now and again. But, you know, so, I mean, that don't really bother me either, either way. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Not, not okay. for the most part. All right. I like my freedom. Okay. For that freedom. What else we got? Call it okay. up, please. Okay, so the next question we have, what is one thing about your life you would never change for anyone? Absolutely nothing. I won't I'll change come this far. No, because at the end of the day, you know, being, you know, when I was younger, I was always guarded, you know, mm-hmm. about like who I should please, pleasing other people and you know making others happy at the end of the day i am 37 going on 38 years old i'm living for me i'm pleasing me and i'm doing what i want to do and i don't give a fuck about what anybody gotta say or think yes i don't want to change the damn thing but i am still a practicing nun so please Uh, forgive me (laughs) all right Um, I wouldn't change anything either. I won't change. I, you know, the only thing that I will say is I have to leave room for growth Mm -hmm. because I'm not always right. I'm not always right. And everything that I say ain't always good. So um, I do leave room for growth. But as far as me personally, like my personality, um, my light, I ain't changing that for nobody. For nobody. Nope. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in changing anything for anybody because at the end of the day, you have to account for what you did in your life. Mm-hmm. They ain't going to take it. So, have you lived your life? You live it honestly. Yep. Because you're going to be the one accountable for it. Absolutely. Earth the Kid once said, Compromise. Compromise for what? For what? For a man. <laughs> Not that man will not compromise for me. All right. Baby, I li- listen. Sure. I couldn't sure. when I yeah. find that clip, I'ma send it to y'all. Earth the kid. I used to love me some Earth the Kid. Honey. Yes. Wasn't she outside right. like on a balcony or something like yep. that? Yep. In, she, the, she, yeah. 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 Her garden. in her garden. In her garden. Yep. Uh-huh. In her garden. Uh-huh. Compromise. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, come on, Earth. Yes. Yeah. Right, right. right. Love but yeah, ain't compromising for what? Because I'm gonna tell you what? something. If that person is for you, if that person was made, built for you, mm-hmm. they're gonna come in with you as you are. Mm-hmm. Who you are is going to elevate them. So right. you're not gonna have to change anything. If right. ever you have to change anything to be with somebody, the person that you are being with feels like you're dimming their light. You are making them smaller. Mm-hmm. So exactly. they want you to change this so that they can glow in areas that you, you shine best mm-hmm. in. Right, absolutely. You don't need that. Nope. Not at Move, all. Around. Move around. Move nope. around. Next question. Oh, did Devonta, did you want to say anything on oh, oh, pretty, much, pretty, much, pretty much the same. I mean, anybody who knows me pretty much knows that I am hardcore set in my ways mm-hmm. i mean in trying to get me to budge or change my mind on something it is seriously trying to push a hundred ton boulder up a hill mm-hmm. so <laughs> no i may apologize for how i relate something to you but what was relate to you was relate to you it is mm-hmm. going to stay that way mm-hmm. you know <laughs> Right. Awesome. This is a good question. Okay. When do you feel most insecure? 
Ooh, when or where do I feel most insecure? We can do when and where. Okay. We can do both. Um. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. I'm. Mm. Oh, Wait, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go, you, no, you about to say something. Go ahead. You know, I am very insecure about my gift. My gift to sing. It's so really? Weird. Right. Yes, I really am. I'm very sensitive about it, and I get real insecure. Like, if if I'm singing and people aren't standing up smiling, I don't feel like I'm doing good. Got you. And they'll tell me afterwards, like, you did so beautiful. I didn't know you could sing like that. I was just right. in awe. Like, I just didn't know you could sing like that. But I'm looking at them like, well, you sure didn't show that. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. you know, I get right. the claps and so on and so forth. But, like, during performance-wise, if I'm during the midst of that performance, if I don't get that, then I'm like, do I sound good? Yeah. Guess yeah. Yeah. Is this song? You know, like yeah. so I'm very that, that's my insecure place. That's when I'm in an insecure place. If I don't, I guess if I don't get that recognition with this feels like right. You know. right. And you know, in our family, Devonte, you too. Our family can sing. Our families can sing. I know Tina, you can sing too. It, that, that is you you can Tina. I I have had to sing. Now, me on the other hand, I used to sing, but I lost my voice. I used to be on the choir and everything. I used to lead songs and all that stuff too. But you did. After, after after a while, I just got tired of it and I left the choir. And when I left the choir, I just stopped singing altogether. And when I stopped singing, my voice changed and I don't well, you know, issue. honestly speaking, you went through a time in life where, like, your voice was going to change. And because you haven't used it to the capacity that you were using it back then, you have mm-hmm. to now arrange it. You have to get used to it. Now yeah, you have yeah, to yeah, yeah. You gotta rearrange those vocal muscles mm-hmm. yeah. to, you know, that's yeah. all. You haven't lost it. You just have to know how to control it. Right. Mm-hmm. You lost that's the ability part. Mm-hmm. Been able to control it. I mean, I, I'm I'm the same way, you know, as T. You know, um, knowing that I can sing and yeah. not getting not getting that that um hey that, wow right, you know? right. <laughs> ah, right. You know, you know. <laughs> uh, like I know you can do that but, right. <laughs> So when they don't do it, it's like, mm, did I right. did, did I deliver? Right. <laughs> did right. I give what needed to be given? Did I, did I right. hit the notes? I mean, but see, mine yeah. isn't singing at the moment. Mine's is more or less, you know, recent reaching the masses. You know, yeah. Am, am I spreading the message properly? Am I, you know, bringing them in? Am I relaying the the right terminology? Yeah. You know, Am I saying, edifying yes. the people that are like, listening? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. wow. What about you, T? I don't know, because, I mean, I can tell you what, I had insecurities when I was maybe younger, but, like, everything that I felt like a, was a flaw or that I was insecure about, I love it now. Like, I yeah. love it. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't even tell you or sit here and think about that's anything that's like I'm insecure about. Or now mm-hmm. people can make you feel insecure about stuff. But me, like, if it's just me and my thoughts, yeah. I'm like, girl, that boy right there, girl, this is a roller coaster. Like, you know, I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I just, <laughs> I don't know. Because I, I, I want to put a word here because you, you trigger something in me. Like, when. You say people can make you feel insecure. Yeah. Know that self-esteem first starts with self. Mm-hmm. And it's your it's esteem of self. Yeah. No one person has the power or the ability to make you feel insecure about anything. Well, Do not ever allow. Well, put it this way. Let me let me. <laughs> I said I want to put it. I wanted to give a put a word out there for people to grab because somebody need to hear it. No matter who, how, where, no matter what you do, no matter how you look, no matter how you dress, no matter how you talk, no matter how you sound, no matter 
whatever you do, somebody's always going to find something wrong with it. Yeah, exactly. Always. Always. Exactly. And to know that help me realize no matter what it is I do, I'm never going to please you. But my job, my purpose, my journey is not here to please you. I'm not here to please you. You know, I don't, I don't have to please you. I'm not getting paid to please you. Mm-hmm. And I always tell people, I'm not an actress. Mm-hmm. I don't get paid to say the things that I say and do the things that I do. So I'm not going to act like, you know, you mean enough to me that you're going to switch it. I'm not going to do that. I don't care how you, how you feel about me. Ain't none of my business. I tell people that all the time. Don't tell me how you feel about me. Don't tell me what you like or don't like about me. Yes. It ain't none of my business. Take take that up with him because he right. created. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Well, what it's I mean by that Absolutely. is um, when I say that unless people kind of make you feel that way, that's what I mean. When I get older, you know how I move. Like, yeah. nobody can tell me nothing. Nobody <laughs> can't say nothing to me. And, baby, if you say something to me, I'm about to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You're going to be looking at me like, oh, my God. and be crying. You're going to be the one crying. Trust and believe right. it. Right. But what I mean. When I was younger, yes, I had that same mentality, but yeah. when it was a lot of people, it wasn't just one. I was the when no, it's I was the people. ugly girl. I was the one people like, oh, she ugly. Oh, you skinny, you ugly. Like mm. I was the ugly girl. Nobody liked me. Oh, you like the hug? Yes, I was all of it. I was oh, the clean up. Oh. Elementary school was not <laughs> oh. for me. Like, come home, you know, crying, upset about stuff. Teachers didn't listen. Even if you did say something, people did stuff to your, uh, for your personal stuff. You know, there's stuff like that. I I have a tough skin now, like tough. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) those safe places when we were younger. We didn't have those safe places, those Mm -hmm. allies to talk to, people to make you feel good about yourself or to help you build that it's like we always tell people like millennials we are like the last of a real live dying breed like Mm -hmm. i don't think people understand we didn't we were introduced to the internet we didn't have it we were introduced to it Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying we were introduced to blu-ray uh and dvds we were introduced to cds and we were introduced to smallpox. We were introduced to bird flu. We were introduced to the COVID-19. We were introduced to the monkey pox. We were introduced to so many things. Mm-hmm. And like growing up, we had that one way of doing stuff and no other way of doing it. It was that one way. And if you had an idea or if you decided to step outside of the box and do something else, yeah. If your light was so bright to the point where it made people feel uncomfortable, which keep in mind, your light is always supposed to make people feel uncomfortable. Mm. Your light is supposed to bring truth out of folk. So therefore, don't feel bad that you have a call out spirit bright light. Keep that mm. light bright and shining. Don't let nobody do that. They the only reason why they are upset with you. The only reason why they didn't like you, Tina. The only reason why they was upset with you is because they could not figure you out. Mm. Yeah. They could not get to. They could not figure out okay. why this girl is so unbothered, and we talking about her picking at her all the time. Your light was so bright mm-hmm. it bothered them. Mm-hmm. Now you're the topic of conversation. Wow. And so, I don't. And I want to say this because it's not a great idea, even if someone's not listening to you. Um, because I would say stuff to my mom, and then when my mom would go handle it, it got worse, and I shut mm-hmm. it. So don't ever shut down. Maybe, you know, talk to who you have your parents and see if maybe maybe a different school would have worked or just let's fix the problem. Don't ever just shut down because that's what I did. I, mm-hmm. I shut down. I didn't, I didn't tell her anything else because I didn't want things to get worse for me. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's just a child's mentality, you know. Yeah, that because, is a child's mentality. This is a child's mentality. I mean, because, you know, I think some of us, you know, had the pickings and stuff of that nature, you know, growing up. You know, I'm about to say I got this sort of picked on, but I would become an outcast in certain situations in school because of the whole, oh, you don't sound black, you don't act black, you know. Yeah. So growing up with that, um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I I never fit 
either side of the fence. Yeah. I wasn't black yeah. enough. I wasn't white enough. You know, I'm not white at all, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Devontae grew up like that, unfortunately. Right. So wow. I got the phone calls home from from school. So I understand where you're coming from with the whole going home and telling my mother how I felt, and the school is saying this, the school is saying that, and our friends are saying that. All my my friends <laughs> are mm-hmm. saying things. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. So friends, you think, right. Yeah. Right. You think you're better than us, or you 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 don't act like us, you don't talk like us. It's like okay, well, I'm not you, exactly. so. <laughs> but, but I think we well, all grew up differently. Yeah, I have one more question, and then we're gonna get to T's juicy question. Okay. So my question was, when do y'all feel like it's an appropriate time to talk to your kids about sex and the correct, um body anatomy like the correct terms and you know because you know a lot of people say they use cookies for the you know vagina area or you know and yeah and a lot of teachers oh, not calling that, those areas cookies, cookies. yeah like yeah. trying to uh you know make it or pocket a work. Yeah, a pocket well, book. and yes. it to me is when a teacher hear that they're they're you know blowing it off because they're thinking like oh she somebody the little child says somebody's touching my pocketbook yeah. and she was like Oh, okay. You know, it's just a pocketbook. Yeah, put your pocketbook away. <laughs> right, and nobody will touch um, it, and that's not what they mean. So, right. when is when do y'all feel it's the correct age to start body body anatomy? Immediately, there's never there's never a wrong or right right time yeah. for body anatomy. I yeah. mean, you can do the whole innocent, you know wording and everything if you want to. I mean, you can call their little. The, it, the PP, the turtle, or the uh, pocketbook, or, you know, the change purse. That would be cute. But <laughs> my mama called through the turtle one time for... <laughs> but anywho... <laughs> he must be on I mean, <laughs> Child, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, just saying. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just saying, but at the end of the day, they need to know you got a penis, you got a yeah. vagina. This is what that is. So if somebody ever touches it, so somebody you can let somebody know what exactly. they touch or what right. you do or don't exactly. have. As far as the sex talk goes, I mean, there's this whole debate on if you have the sex talk too early, it leads to the act of sex too early. Mm-hmm. But but not talking about it does too. Yeah. Huh, not talking about it does too. Yeah. I mean, I think to each is their own. Gotcha. You know, because one, I'm seeing for myself. Got you. That yeah, that's what I want to know. I would say I am seeing for myself. It is not, you know, just TV um, or music videos. It is seriously everyday life that kids mm-hmm. are learning earlier and earlier and earlier that what it is yeah. <laughs> they seriously yeah. are mm-hmm. i mean i was in middle school i think when i first learned about it and it seems like kids nowadays are like first grade second grade and it's it. like it's crazy are you serious yeah, they crazy. see it all the time <laughs> they see it all the time they it's see everywhere. it all the time it's it's like i said it's on the tv it's mm-hmm. in the music videos. Right. It's in the, it's script, in the house. It's in the books. It's in the house. Mm-hmm. I mean, so having a discussion, and honestly, I think parents need to stop doing the whole stay in the child's place because, like I said, if you're going to pretty much expose them to it, you can't get mad at them for acting it out. Mm-hmm. You know, if you, if they see it in their playing house. And doing mm-hmm. some things that they saw. Right. Nah, wait a second now. You they saw you do it. Or mm-hmm. they heard you talking right. about it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Cause like I don't know if y'all remember that video of the, of the little boy sitting at the kitchen table and he was like, I heard y'all saying, uh, uh, uh oh. Yeah. Oh and he was yeah. like, You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes. The boy was was like in first grade, and the mom was like, "Who's off to the movie?" No, y'all wasn't. <laughs> you said, "Uh, uh, uh." <laughs> 
<laughs> that had me cringing. I ain't gonna lie. I would have ran. It had me cringing. I have to agree with Devante. Like, as a mother, I always, from the time my son was able to speak, I always taught him that that's your penis. Mm -hmm. And nobody is supposed to touch your penis. Right. Exactly. So if you come home and you say, so and so touched my penis, mm -hmm. we got a problem. Yes. You know, I'm not, and my, my sister is the same way. My sister has five children, mm. you know, so to have five children, you know, she has two girls, she has three boys. Mm. Each of them know that they have penises and they know the sisters have vaginas and they, the sisters know this is my vagina and mm. boys have penises. They mm. know that. They know mm -hmm. this already. So that if something was to happen, he put his penis X, Y, Z, or he touched my, my vagina. They know, they know these words. So right. she knows. I, and, and two, two of her children are autistic. Well, mm -hmm. one autistic. So you have to be very, very mindful of how, you know what I mean? Like she, she's, I'm guessing she's playing a card the way that she needs to, so that she knows, okay, for my autistic child, if something would, I need to know for a fact, I can't call it a pocketbook or mm -hmm. a turtle. I, I can't call it a pee pee or a wee wee because that's not what it is. When you mm -hmm. go to the doctor, the doctor needs to know this is your penis. Somebody touched your penis, mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. Um, as far as sexual uh, sexuality or sexual um, situations teaching them sex, whether we like it or not, we have a biological clock we were born with. The moment that that child has her period or the moment that that, that child shows that he has hair on his penis or on his arms, it's time to start talking about the birds and the bees. Reasons mm -hmm. being is because their bodies are going to tell them this is what's going to happen. This is what's supposed to happen. Yeah. They're going to see it and they're going to oh, this is, you know, at that moment when a girl has her period as a, I'm a witness. I had my period when I was in, got I, I got it in the eighth grade. Before I had my period, I didn't want nothing. I knew what sex was because I had sex aid, a sex ed in the sixth grade. Yep. I knew what sex was, but I didn't want nothing to do with it. Do you understand me? Like nothing. I wanted nothing to do with it. It had nothing to do with my mama. It had nothing to do with how I was raised. It had everything to do with my mind was not on that. Mm -hmm. After my period came on, however, I then started having those strong feelings like I wanted to try sex. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see what sex was about. Now, granted, it wasn't a man I wanted to have sex with. I wanted to explore a woman. But at the end of the day, that's just like the point, my point in case, like at the, the time my period came on from then on, yeah. my body was telling me that this is you said craving their herbs. Yeah, it, it's time. We just started <laughs> moving around. It's time to reproduce. And it's just a natural thing. If you think right. about it, all mammals in the world, the animals that is, we're mammals, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But other mammals, when they have their children, their pups, when they grow old, like let's I'm, I'm gonna use like wolves or dogs. When they have their children, mm -hmm. they grow up to a certain age once they're no longer feeding off their mother, their mother leaves them alone. Mm -hmm. Turn out off to create, procreate. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, that's just how naturally things are supposed to take place as far as biologically is. You know what I mean? So, like, mm -hmm. I feel like it's important to have that conversation at that very moment so that they know the ins and the outs, the do's and the don'ts. And don't speak to your child and say, oh, you're not having sex. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. It's a natural thing. Yeah. It's, and then you make them feel like, Oh, they're dirty. Like, right. I'm I'm bad. I'm dirty. I don't, you know what I mean? And that's not the case yeah, because right. you had those same thoughts too when you were their age. Whether you want to admit it or not, you had those same thoughts. Right. However, to give them a space, if you have those strong feelings, come to me. Educate that child. I can Absolutely. guarantee you after going through all the education of how to use condoms and all the STDs and children and how that's gonna, when you finish with that conversation all of that's gonna go in they're gonna be like i don't i i don't even want to do it I, 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 listen that's too much that's that's a lot i so the too baby much come out of, well it's developed how yeah you My know so, 
I, you know, I, I just, that's how, that's my take on it. As a yeah. mother, that's my take on it. And I want to add to what both of y'all already said a little bit, because when I grew up, my mama had, like, talks with us. But it also, she had to have them kind of early because the environment we was kind of growing up in and what yeah. happened to other family members. So, yeah. yes, it was kind of introduced to me earlier because she, this happened. I need to know this. Like, yeah. she wanted to yeah. know because sure. she didn't want to be a victim to right. somebody else, which oh, I hate calling them a victim, you know, survivor for somebody else that, you know, oh, took advantage of them when they was little, you know. Um, so it, I think it is a point. I think for my sake, if I have kids and stuff, I think the earlier the better. I would tell them what the correct terms of your body is. I will have that sex talk. Like, even if it's a few feel like it's too young, no, I want to prepare before mm. we hit the puberty stage where you touching this 14 year old boy. No, I want to know. I want, I want to get you prepared to let you know what's going to happen. Absolutely. <laughs> I have boys that was my 24 take on, and yeah. 25, no mm. children. Wow. No children, no trips to the doctor yeah. for STIs, STDs. I don't have the time. See? See? I don't have the time. And then that was another thing about the school thing. My mama has never said, don't have sex with old marriage. She never uh, preached that to us. What she did say was, please finish high school for me. Finish Hello. High school. Finish high school. And I was just like, mama, well, shoot, I did that in this song. Because, honey, I didn't do nothing to like, I was like 23. Like 23. Really? Okay. Okay. I was a late bloomer, honey. Late. Okay. I didn't get my first kiss. I was 21. 21? Yeah, that boy kissed me. I was like, what in the world? You didn't have first until you was 21? Yep. Girl, I had my first kiss. Man, hot, go get it, girl. Yes. I might have been I might have been 10 or 11. Oh, okay. My my first my first kiss was in the was in the chorus room at uh, Morton Elementary in the. Uh... Come on, Morton <laughs> Elementary! I remember Morton Elementary. Y'all just fast, just fast. Uh, okay, so what about you, Bala? We didn't hear. Okay, what did yeah, you tell me about sex? I'm just playing. Wait, what now? I said, what did Chloe tell me about sex? <laughs> no, I'm picking back on what all of you said and everything, because like what all you said, start teach them early. You yeah. know, you you have to, you have to. It's it's a lot out here. It's like you know, of course you're gonna hear about sex, you know, in songs. That's all they talk about, especially in the right. hip hop community. That's all they talk about. In in, uh, I'm not gonna just say the hip hop community, the pop community. It's not it's, 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 it's everywhere. It's, 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 it's no longer subliminal. subliminal. Now it's no, right it's, in it's your face. Forward, it's right in your face. I mean, Touch that little dangling thing in the back of my throat. Yeah, yeah. So it's like to touch that little dangling thing like swing in the back of my throat. Like it's and I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say hip hop. You know, I'm not going to say no, 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 it's, no. It's, it's, it's everywhere. Every, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I mean, it's country. I mean, it's country. Yeah. It's hip hop. You know, it's yeah. rap. I mean, Every, yep. it's, it's actually ironically. I mean, it's even classical. You you, you just don't know because. But see, they still subliminalize <laughs> it. They still subliminalize classical, it. Classical, classical does. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the only one that do. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's the crazy part. But it's everybody else don't. Right. right. Out in the open with it. Is out in the open with it. Right. But yeah. It's, but it's definitely everywhere. It's, it's definitely right. everywhere. So um, definitely teach them at a young age yes. and everything, and let them know like what it is. And also, if you can show them, you know, like the different diseases that sex can come with even with you know kissing and all that stuff mm -hmm. you know let them let them know that now, too let them know that like, that hey. might that might that might scar them might want to well it may <laughs> it well it may scar well, them but at the same there. time it, 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 may, it, may, it may be that like may, you yeah. know let me just be careful you know yeah. let me be careful because even if the person is sexy as hell and everything, there's no telling what they may be carrying or have. Right. Because you don't know because, because you don't know how many how many body counts they have before they got with you. So right. definitely, you know, these little kids today, they are fast as hell. Yep. They are fast <laughs> as hell. The ones back then was fast. I know one girl that been ran through. Oh, because she was cute. She was run through, though. She was definitely run through. I will not, I will not lie to you. I had a hard time trusting anybody who didn't have any outward flaws mm. when I was younger. 
Mm. Like if you if you look too handsome, if you look if you was a if you was a perfect Adonis, I was mm. like, I yeah, I, I I will look at you and be like, okay, yeah, you fine, but I don't want to actually touch you because you I was because I'm I'm afraid that because everybody wants you because you he got community something. dingling. He got community mm. dingling. He giving it out to everybody that's asking for it. I will not lie. I have to get past that. I have to get past that. Okay, T, I guess we're passing the uh, question off to you. So what was your question about the... No. My question was with baby mamas and baby daddies. Why is it that we know the man ain't, uh, ain't is man? You know that Negro ain't ish. You knew it before you laid down with him, but that these so good you digmatized. You are just, you got to give it. You got to get it from him that this D is good. But you know if something come up out of that, <sighs> he is not going to be there. He's not that guy. He's not the guy for this. He barely shows up for you when you ask to. Oh, Why yeah. would you create and expect for that person to be there after procreating with them. Mm. Put that responsibility on that person. When you knew, you knew this man wasn't about nothing from the very beginning, and you thought that was going to change because you made a baby with him. Mm. Um, you know, now I, this, this, this answer is not going to be the most popular answer at all. I mm -hmm. might get some 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 backlash from it all the way around. Mm -hmm. Now, in response to that, if you to, to me, if mm -hmm. you know for a fact that this person does not want to be there for you, don't want to be baby daddy material at all, and even probably even came out their mouth and said to you, get rid of it. Mm -hmm. I personally don't agree with you. Now wanting to say, oh, that's the daddy. I'm putting them on child support. That's the dad. The you know whatever you know throwing all the names out there, right? Because right. you knew, yeah, you knew. You know, I. Yep. You knew he wasn't worth anything. You knew he didn't want to be with you. You knew he didn't want no baby with you. You, if he if he if he said get rid of the baby, or you know five years down the road he still ain't claiming the baby. Why are we in child support court? <laughs> All right. because you thought that maybe you could change him. All but that, but that's the thing, and that's crazy. You thought, you, you know thought, what? You thought that's the thing. You assumed, but now yeah. you the one looking like a fool, right? Yeah. But you know what? Men, women is not the only one that do that. It was yeah. one guy. Yeah, it was a guy that actually admitted to me. He was like, I was like, why did you go? What, what made your baby with her? He was like, I thought the baby would change her. I mean, I'm it, like. You got this girl pregnant on purpose. And that's not both ways. On and that's not, and that's not both ways. I mean, some men, some men do think that a baby will change, you know, the situation and everything. And that's the reason why I'm like, okay, so if, if she don't want the baby, then yeah, she should probably get the baby on up to him because at the end of the day, he got you pregnant on purpose and everything. Or, he wasn't using no 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 protection. So he, she don't want or the baby. Or, he had, they, I mean, yeah. or, or she uh -huh. or or she would give the baby off to the grandparents or something. So she mm -hmm. would do, do her too. thing. Next thing you know, somebody else responsibility. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. You know, but that I, I just that, my yeah. gears. Like you letting this man slide up in you raw and all of the above, knowing what could come from it. And when right. it does happen, you want to down this man and dog this man. This man right. wasn't nothing when you slept right. with him. Right. You but that's that. that's also yep. the thing. But you know, he wasn't nothing for you. Mm -hmm. That don't mean that he ain't okay, nothing that. for the next person. Yeah. He wasn't nothing for you. Right. Exactly. <laughs> because five years down the road, ten years down the road, at the uh at the high school reunion, mm -hmm. he's showing baby pictures of his children, mm -hmm. of his wife. And you like, well, what about mine? He right. didn't want yours. He didn't right. want you. He didn't want it, he didn't want you. He didn't want it with you. <laughs> She didn't want it with you. 
And we're not talking to one about the ones that trick somebody because I, I, I do know a girl that was in high school that me and yeah. her had a conversation. And she said she waited, they waited to have sex for a long time. Mm. And so when they finally did, he said, okay, that's what it was. And he cut her off. Are he you got, serious? She got pregnant. Mm-hmm. That's all he yeah. wanted. Mm-hmm. He they waited for a long time before they had sex. A long time. And when he finally got it, he said, Oh, that's what it was. And dipped out See? on it. Wow. That's crazy. Yep. That's crazy. I mean, it is it's, it's messed up. Some people do play the long game to get, you know, the final goal. And you know, after the after that, you know, they do take off and which is which which is messed up. You know, some I mean, there are some high school games out there where you know people have make packs yep. it's like at the end of the day your goal is to score this yep. your goal is to get them to say this your goal is to get them to do it here yes. or whatever the case may be yes and it's like for what mm. <laughs> exactly. but that's sick man it is it truly is it truly is i mean like you see lifetime movies and stuff like this i mean i remember i see a, i saw a lifetime movie where I think it was like a group of girls. They made a pact to get pregnant. Yeah, they made a pact to get pregnant by a boy and all uh, all together. And none of the boys knew about it. (laughs) But it was crazy. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But, yeah, I was just wondering, like, how y'all felt about that. Because to me, I feel like that's that's real weird. It It is. is. It it's for here. Don't don't go sleeping with people you don't, especially nowadays. Sis, you can't get an abortion no more. So mm. they're gonna make it hard. <laughs> you really want to be sure you if you land with this man, you best be sure you want to be with this man. You won't right. be tied right. to him in some shape, way, shape, or form. And don't do it to that kid. Like Thank you. Don't do that to the to the kid, right, you know. What I mean? Right. I just I don't know. I don't know. That's no terrible. judgment. No it's yours the way you get yours. But since if he a ain't shift man, make sure you wrap that up. Don't let nothing come out of that. Right. Oh. Pokey. Okay. Right. Well, guys, speaking Oops. of you know kids and everything and i know t you um tina you remember her number tina you mentioned graduating and everything um sad story here sad story um two killed in mass shooting after virginia high school graduation ceremony were an 18 year old graduate and his stepfather so the news article reads an 18 year old graduate sean jackson and his 36 year old stepfather renzo smith were killed in a shooting after a high school commencement ceremony in richmond virginia tuesday evening that left five others injured a suspect 19 year old amari pollard was arraigned wednesday morning on two counts of second degree murder and is being held without bail Pollard had an ongoing dispute with the 18 year old victim and it was targeted and it was a targeted attack. Further charges are pending. And it also says he has not yet hired an attorney and is due back in court June 21st, according to the Commonwealth's attorney, Colette McEachin. Like this is sad guys, because you, (sighs) kindergarten, all the way up to 12th grade and you thinking that you have your whole life ahead of you and then someone pulls it right out from under you exactly that's it's sad. sad that's sad that it's sad. sad and it's getting so bad out here like the gun bad. laws period like they really need to sit down yeah and and fix these gun laws there need to be stricter gun laws there should be no reasons why somebody as ignorant as the person was that ran up through a graduation yes a high school graduation no less where children these are innocent babies yeah Yeah. are celebrating a milestone you decide to rain wreak half it what is the word I'm looking for, Devontae? 
wreak havoc. Wreak havoc. havoc. You know, you can't yeah, wreak yeah. havoc. I mean, call yeah. take him, chaos. I mean, it's ridiculous. It is. Yes. Who wakes uh, up in the morning and says, "Oh, I'm gonna go shoot up a uh, let, let me go and shoot up a school." Right. Right. And then you have the gun to do so. Where did you get that from? Right. Who gave uh, that to you? How did you get that? Right. Mm-hmm. See, that it's, makes it's me think right. about. That makes me think about what I saw the other day. Um, I was watching some chamber meetings. Um, I forgot what her name was. She's a representative out of Texas. And she was talking about how there are like, I think seven or eight amendments about voting, but there is one amendment about guns. One amendment. That's crazy. We keep visiting, we keep revisiting the amendments about voting. And yes, voting is very, very important. It truly is, but gun safety gun rights who can and can't have guns and everything yeah. there's only one amendment and the, the amendment is very vague and pretty much it's just it just says the right to bear arms right you know um and pretty much then it comes down to state law of who has the rights to bear arms which that gets down to pretty much like convicted felons and if you're old enough to own a gun, anything of that nature, I mean, so it's crazy. And most of, most of the time, somebody who's 18 gets it from somebody in their home, or you know, they get it from an uncle, or they get it from a street mm-hmm. vendor, mm-hmm. so somebody like that, or it fell off the back of a truck. You know, <laughs> it is it's, yeah. it's, it's crazy. It's, you know what I think? Is. Do you know I think will help out some? I, I don't know if it fixed the problem, but when you start charging these adults. That have these guns in the home that could be easily accessed to these kids to go shoot up them schools. I bet you, I bet you one thing they're gonna keep their keys, I mean, that uh cabinet, whatever they keep their guns locked up, or whatever, hide them keys. Locked. Right. I mean, some sometimes they do charge the adults, you know, but I think one thing is if they made it mandatory to buy a gun safe. If they made it mm-hmm. mandatory to buy a gun lock, you know, if they made it mandatory to, you know, go straight to a gun safety class or things of that nature prior, to, you know, prior to, yeah. mm-hmm. so people can just no, like, not, like right no, now, the sense you don't of, have to. Like, no, South Carolina has actually changed. South Carolina has actually changed. You no longer oh. have to. You no longer have to have a concealed weapons permit in South Carolina anymore. Really? Yeah. South Carolina, you no longer have to. Have, if you're, if you are, if you're not, a, uh, if you're not a felon, you don't have a record. You can legally buy a gun in South Carolina. Yeah. I thought they required eighteen classes. No. Uh, uh-uh. no? At what? eighteen. At uh, eighteen. Not in South Carolina. A lot of a lot of especially like places like <laughs> Texas and. Stuff like that where guns places are places where they have the stand your ground laws. Yes. Okay. They don't so like, have um, that in place. Yes. I mean, that's what I said. If it was like mandatory that you bought a gun safe. If it was mandatory mm-hmm. that you bought a gun um lock. clip or something lock, you know, but if you can just go to a pawn shop and get a free gun. You know, they're just like I said, they're sitting with the bullets mm. and bring it home and sit it on a dresser, but you ain't got nowhere to put it. Is it sitting on your dresser? Any five year old can then walk in the room, pick that gun up, and say, and speak to you on us, yeah. well, what, 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 what am I gonna do? But if it was it, mandatory before you could leave that store that you have to have a gun lock or a gun safe that's coded. Or yeah. fingerprinted, yeah, to you, right? Then that would cut down on so many things, and then you need to be extremely careful because these babies, these babies yeah. are watching when you use code. Absolutely. That's the reason why when you when you have your phone and your yeah. baby get your phone, you be like, "Well, how do you get my phone?" Because they watch you put that code. They're watching, yeah. <laughs> yep. So be careful with even the coded locks. That's why I said bio. The mm. fingerprints. 
use Absolutely. your fingerprint as 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 the thing. You know, it's gonna be like I said, a coded lock. <laughs> you know, use that as the key. I'm blessed that I don't have any young children. Well, I do. My godson, he comes and sits in the house with me sometimes, but he knows better. Like, he knows better. He knows not to touch things like that, but <coughs> he does come. I do put it up. However, for the most part, we don't. And my joint is locked and loaded every time. Yep. And ready. But see, I don't, but that's the thing. I don't I don't have kids living with me right. for that to be a problem. You know what I mean? It's just me and my wife in there. And at any creaking moment, I'm, whoa. Yeah. yeah. See, mine is, see, mine is Ooh, right you know what I'm saying? Right. Mine, like, mine is right beside my bed and everything. Mm-hmm. You know, but like I said, I have a gun safe. Yeah. So it, it can be put up or it can be sitting free because I don't have no small kids in my house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I right. can do either or. I can keep it in the safe or I can leave it freely. Just if somebody comes knocking on the door, I can pick it up and go to the door with it. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to add to this too because we are talking about small kids, but um, one of the cases that I have been listening to is that the father, this where the guy was like, what, 18, 19? 19. And it was the father responsibility uh, to keep those guns away from that um, 18 year old, because I think he shot up a, he shot up something, I can't remember. The, the step, I mean, the dad gave him the guns, like he knowing, he had, knowing he had um, a mental issue and stuff, mm. but he gave the guns back to him when the state took the guns away, saying he wasn't mm. allowed to have them. So, so he that's needs what I mean to go to jail too. Him. Exactly. But he was not arrested. He, the, he, wasn't, he wasn't arrested. He wasn't charged with anything. Crazy. And that's what I mean too, that those type of laws need to be put in place also. Like yeah. definitely does. That's just crazy. Right. Right. Oh, well, uh, did you have anything? Because I noticed that we I know we were, you know, did you have anything to add or say about that topic also? Um, no, not really. I I just touched on um like what y'all got like what you guys were saying and everything. But at the end of the day, it is crazy how the US is so easy for, you know, youngsters to get guns and everything. Mm-hmm. Whereas over in London it's hard as hell for anybody yeah, to get a gun. As it should be. As it should be. You know, and I say a lot and of I this say, stuff would die down. Right, and I say London because I do have a you know friend that lives over there, and he was just saying how hard it is for them to you know get a gun. Let me get you my know. flight together. Let's go get that. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, look. I mean, I just hey, if, if, if 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 the if people were trained correctly, and our country pretty much wasn't ran the way that it was ran. Mm-hmm. And people didn't feel the way that they felt about our country. I think certain things wouldn't happen either. Mm. I mean, I don't want to necessarily say that people don't feel safe. But when you got people that's just breaking into your house in the middle of the night while you're sleeping, like I had, I don't want to mention, uh, you know, his name or anything, but I had a friend who's just sitting in his home mm. and his landlord decided to show his place without his consent or anything like that. They came to his door, was about to get her to open it up, and he had no knowledge he was about to get her to do this. So he ran to the door and was trying to, you know, lock the door back. He was like, who is it? Who, who, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And it was like, oh, it's maintenance. We're, we're about to show the apartment. <laughs> he was like, what? Excuse me, what? I'm in the buff. <laughs> you know, they was like, well, do you have certain, do you have this color cabinets? Oh, whatever, mind. You, you're not the apartment we're looking for anyways. But doing something Ooh. like that uh-uh. in, in the middle of the day or the middle of the night could easily get you shot. Yeah. Oh, gee. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> no. I'd have been sitting there waiting on the door. Right. <laughs> When what, you what, have, like what, I said, what, when you have these police out here what, serving no knock warrants on the what, wrong what, place, mm-hmm. not the right place, but the wrong place, mm-hmm. a shooting of those police would be justified. 
Mm. Yeah, you busting in my house. I don't you know who's in hiding. my house. Oh. You, you know, not a short. Now, I don't, 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 now, don't, nobody don't take me wrong. Now, I'm not, I'm not sitting up here promoting gun violence or nobody of getting shot. So, but what I'm saying, but is, protecting yourself, <laughs> protecting yourself. What I'm saying yeah. is, if these guns were pretty much, if people were being trained to utilize the guns for safety reasons, right, and to utilize them when needed, and not just going out here and flashing them shooting in the mm-hmm. air and just doing negative things with them, the violence would come down. Mm-hmm. You know. But like I said, you got things out here happening where people are like, you know what? I need a gun. Yeah. I got people yeah. I got babies in this house. Yeah. I need to protect them. And you, that's a, you know, that's one of the main reasons why I don't have many children that come to the house or I, I try not to, like, you won't catch many kids being here. And mm-hmm. if you do, I make sure that I put them away. But because mm-hmm. I have so many, I don't want one of my nieces or my nephews, my God babies mm-hmm. to come in here and grab a hold to it and, Right. Because, like I said, mine is always locked and loaded. Yeah, it's exactly. clean. You know, it is TTT. <laughs> right. Mm. So I don't want that to, and I don't ever say to people, like, no, I don't want your baby to come over here because I got guns. I don't say that because I don't need you to know that I have them. However, exactly. I, I have my reasons for my madness. Is a re- I, I always tell people my house isn't childproof. Mm-hmm. It's, it's mm-hmm. not childproof. Mm-hmm. And it's not. it's not. I have crystals. I have glass I stuff. I have guns. I have that. It's just not childproof because I don't have any kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't have to shop that way. You know, and mm-hmm. when they do come, I have to mentally prepare. I have to physically, like, I used to have to put when my little god baby would come to the house. Well, no, it was her brother at the time that would always mess with it. But I would have to push the table, the the coffee table, up against my TV stand so he wouldn't go up and touch the TV. Mm-hmm. Like, Stay off my TV. I don't want your little fingerprints on my TV. On my TV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's so, a thousand dollars right there. <laughs> it's right, and I know your mama ain't gonna pay for it. So, Listen. like, I have to like set stuff up the right way for the house and so i don't like i don't have the because i'm telling you mine is locked and loaded and ready so don't right. ever right. ever wrong door my don't you know knock the wrong door for me that's what i said, that's what you said. because you i'm liable, you to, no you liable to meet your maker while you're doing exactly. your job Ooh. well that leads to the next scary. story that leads yes. to the next story y'all a mother of four was shot and killed in Florida following a long-time feud with a neighbor who had complained about the victim's children playing outside, authorities and a family attorney said. Deputies responded to a trespassing call Friday night and found one woman suffering from a gunshot wound. Marion County, Florida, Sheriff Billy Wood said in a Monday news conference, the victim was identified by authorities as A.J. Owens. She was 35. The lady was 35 that died? I think so. The victim. The victim was, yeah, the victim was identified yeah. by authorities as AJ Owens. She was 35. Now, so the neighbor's told, daughter? Like, well, a witness told police there had been a dispute over a child's electronic tablet device prior to the shooter throwing the skates at the children according to an incident report from the sheriff's office. Following the interaction, one of the children went back inside their home and told their mother who went to the neighbor's home to confront the lady. According to the shooter, there was a lot of aggressive aggressiveness from both sides and as well as threats being made. And Owens was ultimately shot through the door. Witnesses no. told authorities uh, Owens went to the shooter's home and knocked on the door before she was shot. Owens was later pronounced dead at a hospital, authorities said. This is... So, she shot her through the door. Through the door. 
So it wasn't self defense. And all she did was going over there to, I guess, confront the lady for taking the child's tablet. No, she should have never done. Throw, no, throwing the skates at the child. Yeah, uh, give me my tablet, but don't you ever you throw, throw no, no skate skates at my child. Don't throw exactly. nothing at my child. Yeah, exactly. And if I'm not mistaken, didn't the skates make contact with the child? So you done physically assaulted a child and murdered their their mom, basically. So you 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 out here assaulting this people and killing people. This is sad. This That's is some terrible. privilege foolishness right there. Where this was it at? This what is was in Florida. It? This is Florida. This is in yeah. Florida. And you know nothing but the crazies is in Florida. Absolutely. Florida, Florida <laughs> creates crazy people. And what's Florida that? is <laughs> where y'all's ex president is from. Uh -huh. Florida, like everything crazy happens in Florida. Florida people is crazy. It wasn't her some this manslaughter. It wasn't murder. It was manslaughter, wasn't it? I believe like, so. I and believe that's, that's another thing. I said, that's the one thing I don't agree with either because I hate going towards race. I really do. Mm. But if she was black, then later, that it did the shooting, murder. it would have been first or second degree murder. Degree murder. Yes, it, it would not be mm. no manslaughter. It wouldn't have. It wouldn't be involuntary. It would not be none of that. It would, and then on top of that, it would not have been an investigation because she wasn't she wasn't arrested immediately. She was able to stay home for a few hours, few days, whatever. Why they thought about it, and then it came and got her. And then she has a hundred and fifty thousand dollar bond. Yep. That's what I don't like. Right. Absolutely not. That's what's not fair. That's what's not right. These babies now have to go through life traumatized, don't know what's right, what's wrong, what's up, what's down, what's blue, what's yellow. Mama gone, oh. planning a funeral. That breaks my heart. Grandma don't know what to do that, with the babies. My, my heart, heart goes out to that family. May Absolutely. God bless y'all with peace that surpasses all understanding. It is our community that has to keep going through it mm -hmm. continuously and then have to continuously hear get over it get past it mm -hmm. oh my There's people no can do that my that child is traumatized <laughs> no and also it is a what is that 150,000 154,000 bond for the manslaughter charge so that's that's crazy and you know she's gonna get out and there's no yeah, else out. about it she's probably out yes yeah, probably she's out, probably she, already out she was probably able to sign herself out yeah nine mm -hmm. times out of ten the, the judge saw a little old white lady yeah she's frail she needs her medications she can't survive a night in jail right yeah. So we're going to see know, her home with an that's ankle gonna bracelet. Her for the rest of her life. She is not going to have a good life after this. That's and you know, we'll, we as people of color will always look at a situation as it is race or racial mm -hmm. until that moment where Laquisha shoots Betty through the door and she gets to come home. Mm -hmm. When that moment happens and y'all charge Laquisha for manslaughter, for shooting Sister Betty through the door. I'm sorry. Let's let, give me another one. Get Martha. shooting Becky, shooting Martha. Becky, or Martha mm -hmm. through that door. When that moment comes, then we'll say, "All right, so y'all finish with the race thing." But okay. until then, it's always racial. Mm -hmm. If that lady was a black lady shooting another, even if it was a black lady that was being shot, if that was a black lady in that situation, period, this would be a whole different story. This would be a whole mm -hmm. different story. The question would would then be asked. Well, it can't be self defense because the right. door was shut, man. Right. The right. door was the door was closed. You no threat. What you <laughs> shoot that lady for? Put your hands behind your back. Come on, mm. come on, let's go. Come on, you know you know the drill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like until that moment happens, it's it's a race car. It's a race thing for me, baby. The reasons why that happened the way it happens because that was a black woman standing up for her child. Wow. To a white woman. Yeah. That's it.
I'm, yes, I'm, yes, I'm saying this and I want it to be known. And, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's one of those things that I'm going to get some slack for. If something happens to me, I don't want no marching. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't I want no marching. The same thing. I don't want no marching. I don't, I don't want no marching. Uh-uh. Burn it down. Yep. Burn like, everything I'm down. Sick. I'm sick and tired of the marching. Right I'm that. sick and tired of calling for the peace. And, you know, we just want, you know, everybody to, to get along and everything. I cannot remember what what, uh, what old dude's name is, but he pretty much said, if you put a few snipers on a roof and shoot a few of them, then they will see how it feels. My because... God. <laughs> My God. When, if you stop them in their tracks... Like they do with us, then they will see how it feels. My God. Mm. Hey. Like I'm tired. Like I'm tired of the marches. I'm tired of and even then when we're peacefully marching and we get That's sprayed. We get sprayed. We get arrested. beat. Damn. We get arrested. We get we get called Damn. hoodlums. Mm. Like I said, I don't I, 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 I want Shot. at the end of the day, yes, I have always Shot. wanted the peace. I wanted the resolution. And that's what I want. At the end of the day. I want the resolution. I do. But it seems like 200 years of marching has gotten nowhere. And my feet tired. My feet mm. are tired. My soul is weary. It really is. Mm. I can't take anymore. Mm. Don't start the factory. Mm. I can't take anymore don't start it mm. don't start that don't mm. start that my heart it aches it breaks i've laid too many of my brothers to rest and they don't understand they yeah. refuse to hear our tears yeah they refuse to acknowledge that my mother has buried her child, that my grandmother, my aunt, my grandfather has had to carry theirs to an unmarked grave because we can't be buried in the main cemetery. Mm. We have had, we have had, you know, cities demolished where we pretty much have built ourselves up. Mm-hmm. And they say you're not worthy. <laughs> but then your child gets killed. Did you say stop all that hollering? All, all that hollering. It's not fair. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. When will our time come where we can see a day that we're not shot in the street? I don't understand it. I don't understand no. it. <laughs> Oh, Lord Jesus, help us, Father. Well, mm. those kids, that family. Because my heart breaks for these kids. It really do. Yeah. It really truly do. Yeah. These kids now have to go through life with, without their mother, who was only 35 years old. 35. Yeah. Years old. 35. The oldest child, I think, was 10. Yeah. <laughs> 10 years with a mother. And now he's going to have to be like, how did my mama look? Mm. How did my mama look? How she sound? How did she sound? What her laugh sound like? What was her laugh like? Yeah. I remember one time my mama made, made me a grilled cheese. Those are the memories that this child now has mm. to cling to. Ten years worth of memories that should have been fifty. Yeah. <sighs> oh my gosh. Why do white people get to have these memories that black children can't have? And then they pick at us because we don't have our mother or we don't have our father because you stole them from me. Mm. Your people stole them from me. I don't have that because you stole it from me. It's not right. It's not. It's not. It's it's not. It, has it's not. it has to change. Yeah, it has not. to change. It has to change soon. 
Yes, man. Wow. No, no. I digress. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. No, I tell you what. I tell you anybody, and I'm going to tell the viewers, if you don't stand up against injustice, you are part of the problem. If you see it happening and you don't say anything, you're part of the problem. Especially my white folks that you know, and not a, not all, not a, everybody in this race is bad. I have a couple of no, friends. No, not everybody in that race is bad. But I will tell you this: if you see it happening, and you don't use your privilege to speak up, you are part of the problem. You're not helping. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're not helping. So. Like Devante said, as you know, and I'll speak on behalf of the LD show, we send our hearts, our prayers, condolences, um, light, love, and energy all to you, that to your family down in uh, Florida, to that baby's family. Uh, how many kids does she have? Well, I, I think it was like three, or three. Three, three or four more. kids. God bless all, all of those babies. God bless her mother, who now has the task of taking care of those children and I just pray that it comes to her as easy as possible. God has a plan and we know we know this. We don't know what his plan is, but we know that he has a plan. Exactly. Exactly. And like I say all the time, if he tells you the things that you have to go through to get to where you need to be, the things that you have to see, endure or accomplish or complete before you get to that end road you will say no i'm not going through it because nobody said it would be easy Absolutely. but keep your heads up yeah. we hate ending the show on bad notes and on vibes like this but i mean it has to be said it has to be brought out it has to be brought to the forefront and spoken on and uh, pick a side if you on the wrong side of history. God, God bless you. Absolutely. God bless you, and may God have mercy on you. So, wow. here, here, la la. Well, T, Tina, Devante, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And to the viewers that's watching, we love y'all too. We love you so much for tuning in. And make sure that you do find the message in this video because there is a powerful message in this video. For sure. Absolutely. And T, you touched on a lot. Devante, you touched on a lot too. Tina, you touched on a lot too. So, absolutely, guys. But we want to say thank you guys for tuning in to the LD show. This has been. An emotional yeah. show. Devante, I have never seen you cry like this. You make me tear up. Right. Right. You make, so, I'm like trying right. to do my stuff. I'm like, don't, 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 don't do it. Devante is a black man hard. in America. Right here. <laughs> he is a black man in America. Absolutely. So Absolutely. it's just my man's is he touched by it. Yeah. It's affecting him. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And my heart is with you, Devante. Yes. I can never know what it's like to walk in your shoes. And I don't think that if I, I did, if I had the ability to put your shoes on and walk in them, if I would actually have the courage to do it. Because it takes real life faith and courage mm -hmm. to walk around in America as a black man. Wow. So I commend you and my prayers are always with you yes. when you are walking around these, these streets. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Well, T has spoken, guys. This has been the L and D show. I am yours truly, Lala. I'm he a mess. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> I'm T, and I'm Tina. We love y'all. Yes, we love y'all for watching. Yes. See y'all later. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, and comment. Okay. Yes. And we love you guys. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.